Now pick your phones, put a call through to your friends, send a list to your neighbors, tell everyone that the command of your day prayer has started and God is set to bless everyone today. Hallelujah. Revelation chapter 3 verse 20. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hears my voice and open the door, I will come to him and sup with him and he with me. Lift up our voices and appreciate God for the privilege of relationship with him. Father, we thank you. Father, we honor you. We bless your name. Thank you, Father, for the privilege of prayer. Thank you, Father, for the privilege of praying, for the privilege of association, relationship with you. Jesus, we are grateful. Be thou glorified in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for what you do constantly at this prayer mountain, for the answers, for the visitation, Father, we are grateful. And tonight we welcome your presence. We ask for a touch. We ask for a definite encounter with you at this place of prayer. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we are praying. Hosea chapter 9 verse 7 a. So the days of visitation are come. Today is our day of total family visitation. Lift your voice and make demands on God. Father, this place of prayer, I ask for a divine visitation, divine encounter. Visit my family. Visit our lives. Visit our destinies. Father, we ask for that visitation that we end every frustration in our lives. That visitation that we enhance our acceleration in destiny given to us in the name of Jesus. And Father, we pray for your servant. We ask that you open the portals of heaven. Let revelation land on him like never before. Put him in that dimension. He desires in the realm of the spiritual, in the spirit, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Hallelujah. Again, pick up your phones, put a call to your friends. The links are displayed on the screen. Send them to your friends. Let them know that God is up to something here. With Jesus' joy, put your hands together for Jesus 
as welcome the praise team. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we give you glory tonight.
your hands together for Jesus. Please be seated wherever you are. I welcome you tonight to this Commanding the Day Midnight Prayer. I'd like you to pick up your phone and call a friend, call a family member, call a colleague, and link them to this prayer altar tonight. And we believe that the Lord will change their lives in the name of Jesus. We are taking some testimonies in this segment. Testimony from Stephanie. E.N. from Baesa State. Good day, commanding the day midnight prayer family. I have been struggling with ulcer and masturbation for years. Can't trace back the dates, but masturbation started from Genesis 3. I had been a victim of continuous rape. I was first molested at the age of six, and it continued from age 11. I have attended so many seminars looking for help. I am currently 29 years. Also started immediately after my neko. Sama, it used to be so bad that when the urge comes, I can't control it. Sometimes I go to the toilet to masturbate in the office. But God indeed, God is indeed in this place. I have come to give him all the glory because after the last worship word and wonders night, us are left and masturbation left. I have been eating anything that triggers the ulcer, but it's gone and so is masturbation. I know God who has started his work in my life will heal me from all the trauma, give me a job, and marital settlement. I am looking forward to fellowshipping life with any branch I can find in Yenegua. I am not a member of any church. I usually just join any church I can find online some Sundays. I have also surrendered my life to Christ. God bless you, Sama. May your anointing never run dry. Amen. Testimony from OO from Lagos. Above only greetings to my commanding the day midnight prayer family. I am here to testify of the wonders of God in my life on this mountain. They include, number one, deliverance from the pain relief drug, diclofeniac. I got introduced to it when I had a surgery and a doctor prescribed it. When he told me I had, I had no more need for it, as I was okay, I couldn't stop taking it. Any day I pass through the slightest stress, I would always take it before I feel okay. On one commanding the day midnight prayer, the pastor declared a deliverance for someone addicted to a particular pain relief drug. Although it was not diclofenac as my case, I still knew the prayer was for me. And I claimed it from that day till eternity. I no longer live on that drug. Secondly, I mistakenly transferred a sum of money into the account of commanding the day midnight prayer. When I realized the mistake, I wasn't happy at first. But I later remembered it was God I gave money to. So I quickly muttered some prayer, prayer points to attach to my seed. Meanwhile, my fiance had wanted to book for our wedding flight, flight tickets, which totaled about two million naira. The very next day after the seed was sown, Someone transferred one million naira to my fiance for part of the flight ticket funds. Hey, this God is, is too good. Thirdly, the senior pastor also told us that we will have jobs in the first week of April. I keyed into it as I had no job but wondered how it would happen. 
on the 4th of April, a company, I had submitted my CV and put portfolio to requesting for an internship role, role reached out to me and offered me a paid internship role. I trust God that as I am through with this internship, I will get a permanent employment. God bless you and reward you, sir and ma, and your children and all the commanding the day midnight crew for your labor in my life. Go ahead and give the Lord a big clap and a loud shout of praise. What a faithful, faithful God we serve. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please ensure still that someone is connected. It's a special night, special family visitation night. And also to Stephanie, would ensure that we connect you with our Yenagua um, branch so that you are groomed on how to establish the deliverance God had wrought in your life. Let's have testimony as we make progress. Testimony from Mrs. Nathaniel from Maryland in the United States of America. And she said, I want to share my testimony upon arriving um, in America on February the 15th, 2024, and being welcomed by my son instead of my daughter and her husband. I was shocked. I found out that my daughter was extremely ill. Upon entering our, her house, barely was she able to breathe. Despite her husband's feelings for our tired, tiredness and declar declaration of having taken her for treatment a day before, we still rushed her to the hospital where she was swiftly transferred twice before finally receiving miraculous healing after her case was mentioned by Pastor Enenche, who prayed for someone with lung disease, lungs disease. Through prayers and the grace of God Almighty on the altar of Commander Day Midnight Prayer, which we prayed continuously using both live and old links. My daughter recovered miraculously to the amazement of the medical staff. I thank God for the intervention and prayers of um, our spiritual leaders, Pastors Paul and Becky and Nature, whose prayers and follow up on my daughter never wavered. Victory over adversity is always possible with fervent prayer and faith. Command the day midnight prayers. Uh, will forever remain our family entry point into all new days. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a praise. Wonu from Dallas, United States of America, on the 9th of March 2024, a friend sent me the link to commanding a day midnight prayer, where the word of knowledge was exactly addressing my sister and I. Pastor Nature said, they were identical twins that don't see eye to eye. And it's because the devil is after one of our lives. And it had been a concern for especially our mom. This is true, sir. We're identical twins, but unfortunately, we had an unintentional fall, fallout three years ago. Wow. This affected my sister's health and almost took her life. And so she, she had to go back to Abuja. This has caused my family's such stress financially and otherwise. On the 21st of March, there was again another word of knowledge where Pastor Enenche had again mentioned the situation, taking authority over the spell of insanity and suicide. He said he sees an OFO in the person's name, which is exactly my sister's name. Wow. I'm sure he doesn't even know that it's a continuation of, of, of the same case. I have come to show myself to the priest. I'm grateful to God that he hears our prayers and he is taking over. Wow. Declaration is attached. I see a twin, an identical twin. And the enemy is challenging your life. I see a chest condition. I think looks like an asthma tick situation. But that is not what is worse. What is worse is that there is an evil wind between the two of you. Identical twins that don't see eye to eye. That all the time it becomes confrontation, contention, and strife. I take authority over. And the devil knows the greatness of your destiny and the greatness of your future. So he wants to frustrate your life and frustrate your destiny with contention and with, and, 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 and with, and with confrontation and strife. Oh, my God, the Bible says where there is strife, there is evil, evil work. I declare that spirit of strife. 
it's a concern from, for, for, from your parents, especially your mother. How can you be so close, be so alike, and yet be so opposite and confronting one another? I declare that devil is arrested, and the devil is looking for the life of one of you. Wow. But that devil will not get you. In the name of Jesus, somebody is being delivered on the, of the spell of insanity. In the name of Jesus, I see an OFO in that name of that person that is being delivered from that spell of insanity and everywhere you are watching you, are, you, 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 you feel like pulling your cloth once in a while you hear thoughts and in your mind that are so terrible unbelievable suggesting things that you cannot even do thoughts of suicide i command it broken right now in the name of jesus wow give the lord a big clap of hand and let's celebrate the king of kings wow and honor in Jesus name. Please you may be comfortably seated anywhere you are watching tonight. Wake up your friends, wake up your loved ones. Today is a family visitation night. Today is a night for your family. Get them all involved and let them be a part of this and I believe that the Lord will give them a blessing indeed in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. I want to thank for all your greetings and everything today and I believe that we are concluding this day 30 years is not just a number it's a phenomenon and god is going to pour something on somebody's life tonight in the mighty name of jesus christ praise the lord let's take a look at a few testimonies more clara ediku from europe says greetings to the pastors and every member of the commanding day midnight prayer family she was introduced to this prayer altar by her sister queen okundia on the 30th of March, God used the servant of God to cancel death and conspiracy against her life. He quoted that there is a lady whose name starts with a C, and to be precise, the name is Clara. And he said, every death plot, death conspiracy against your life has been canceled. She shouted and said, Amen. A week before that day, she had a dream where she was carrying a casket on her head oh, no. and walking on a very dark, long road. Oh, no. And she was looking for someone to help her, but found no one. And she woke up and prayed, but she was still afraid. But when the servant of God mentioned her name, she, know, she knew that God of this prayer altar has redeemed her from death. God bless you, sir, for all the sacrifices. And may God continue to empower you in Jesus' name. Declaration is attached. That conspiracy against somebody's life, conspiracy against your life, conspiracy of death, I declare the conspiracy is scattered in the name of Jesus. Lift up your hands. You will fulfill your days. Amen. The enemy will not take you out before your time. Amen. In the name that is above every name. Amen. That occultic manipulation will no longer work. Amen. God is speaking to everyone here. 
but it's a lady with a name that starts with a C like a Clara. I declare today that satanic conspiracy over your life, satanic conspiracy over your destiny, satanic conspiracy against you is hereby cancelled. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let's take a look at another testimony. Blessing K G Y K says, Good morning, uh, beloved commanding the day midnight prayer crew. She wants to thank God for the numerous testimonies God has given her on this prayer altar. She keeps sharing as instructed by God's servant and trusted God that one day her testimony will be read. She has been encouraging her mom to join the commanding day prayer, midnight prayer, because it is as if something keeps holding her down. For over five years now, her business has been stagnant. And she has been having a strange movement from her neck to her back. It all started when she ate a bone in her dream 12 years ago. Since then, any time money enters her hands, the neck affliction will be so terrible. Until 13th of April, 2024. Until 13th of April, 2024, Jesus located her mother. God's servant mentioned ATU. As a part of the name. And her name is Aishetu. Every declaration was super accurate, sir. Her mom, that was initially weak during the prayers, became very strong. And they believe God has visited her. She was crying in her heart for God to show himself in her life. The challenges were just too much. To the point that her siblings from the other religion, who were not happy with her conversion to Christianity... We are beginning to make her get confused. Nothing seems to be working for her, but she wants to bless God for what he has started doing in her life through that word. They love you, sir and ma, for the sacrifice. God bless you and the commanding the day crew. Declaration is attached. Somebody with a name that has ATU, like probably the beginning of the name ATU, in the name that is above every name, the Lord is granting you a visitation. A visitation now stale ferina kalayana tazona la tefrito chocolate ferina kalara tasane talito ratana salalaste is taking off the embargo that the enemy has placed on your life where the devil has positioned you at a position and has and has detained you in that position for a very long time and also the power of witchcraft manipulation that is combined also with the power of 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 of, of, of uh, where they took your name to a native doctor's place to tie down your life and tie down your destiny and even and even tamper with your marital destiny today i declare that that satanic conspiracy is an all-round multifaceted conspiracy i declare it is broken yes in the name of jesus where it appears like everything and everybody is against you hey i command it broken right now in the name of jesus and i speak to everyone that is connected and what he says to one he says to all anyone whose name they have taken anywhere i declare that altar is set on fire every witchcraft attack that is against your life that placed an embargo on your life and held your destiny back the yoke is broken in the name of jesus everyone experiencing hostility around you as if everybody and everything is against you i declare that era of hostility is broken amen hallelujah praise the lord give the lord a praise it's broken in jesus name amen francisca from canada says glory be to god for what he's doing on this altar he alone is worthy to be praised She's overwhelmed with gratitude as she shares this testimony of God's faithfulness and intervention in her life. On Sunday, February 18th, 2024, during the Commanding the Day Midnight Prayer with Dr. Paul Enenche, God moved in a powerful and undeniable way. As Dr. Paul Enenche began speaking about antimarital altars, she felt a stirring in her spirit, a conviction that the word was meant for her. In that moment, she silently prayed asking for her name to be mentioned, if indeed it was her word. To her utter shock and amazement, Dr. Paul Enenche mentioned her name, a name that is not common. It was divine confirmation that God was speaking directly to her. Filled with awe and wonder, she picked her phone to message her mother, who coincidentally was also watching and praying on the same platform. They rejoiced together, giving thanks to God for his faithfulness and for the prophetic word spoken over her life. Before this divine encounter, she was in a state of brokenness and confusion following a sudden 
sudden end of a four-year relationship. However, in the weeks that followed Dr. Paul Enenche's declaration, God began to move in miracle, miraculous ways. The man she was in relationship with reached out to her, expressing a desire for reconciliation. His words and demeanor were transformed, evidence of God working, God's working in his life during their time apart. She's aware of God's perfect timing and his unwavering She's faithfulness. She's in awe. She's in awe, I beg your pardon, of God's perfect timing and his unwavering faithfulness. Despite her initial reluctance to share this testimony out of fear, the prompting of the Holy Spirit compelled her to do so. She's eternally grateful for his love, his mercy, and his miraculous intervention in her life. She eagerly anticipated, anticipates the fulfillment of God's promise and looks forward to sharing her testimony of marital settlement soon. To God be the glory, now and forevermore. Amen. Sister Francisca, ensure that the bed is not defiled as you come back together, and that enhances the establishment of your marriage in Jesus' name. Let's look at the declaration. Now, I speak to everyone that is watching with an anti-marital altar. I declare the altar is set on fire. Amen. Many in this category, but there's the one that has an NF name, like a Franca, a Francisca or something. Within this category, I declare today, you are free. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's take a look at one more testimony, and then we'll go on into time of praise and prayer. Brother A.O. from Abuja, Nigeria says, Praise the Lord, brethren. God is faithful. God has constantly answered the declarations from the altar of the Commanding the Day Midnight Prayer. On the 4th slash 5th day of April 2024, declared the day of vengeance, the senior pastor, Dr. Pastor Paul Enenche, declared that we shall hear news, paraphrased. Brethren, in his own case, it happened under one hour. Hey! Ola, 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 ola. A renowned witch who was responsible for multiple afflictions and calamities, calamities on the entirety of the family was laid to rest at 2 a.m. on the fifth day of April, the same 2024. Night of the, prayer, the same vengeance season. Yes. Less than an hour after the prayer has ended. Hallelujah. He returns all the praise to God for answered prayers and the huge relief to the entire family. Brethren, by the mercies of God, he shall come back to share more and more testimonies of breakthroughs, divine supplies, and healings in Jesus' name, amen. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Let's look at the declaration. Praise the Lord. The judgment and vengeance on wicked altars tonight. I take authority over altars of premature death, strange disease, altars of delay, altars of wickedness, and agents and high priests, every man, woman, boy, girl, every force from hell, that has vowed not to let you go. Tonight they shall go for you. Can I hear a louder amen? Those who will not let you rest, they shall be laid to rest. Go ahead and let's celebrate the King of Kings. Let's go. Go, 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 go.
clap and a shout of praise. Hallelujah. Wake somebody up. Wake your friends, wake your loved ones, and your relations up as we encounter total family liberation tonight. Isaiah 26 verse 3. I want everyone to read it and let it be your passage. One to go. Thou will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusted in thee. Somebody say amen. 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 That shall be your testimony. Amen. No amen. devil shall temper with your peace. Amen. Amen. Lift your voice and say after me. Say, Father, Father thank, you thank you for the privilege, for the privilege of, knowing of knowing you. Thank you, thank you for, the for, the for the privilege of perfect peace, of perfect peace. For, those for those who know you. Who know be, you. Glorified. be glorified. Oh Lord, oh Lord. In, the in the name of Jesus. Go on ahead and speak to God. <laughs> in Jesus precious name Amen. Luke chapter 5 and in verse 26 Luke 5 26 and they were all amazed and they glorified God and we are filled with fear saying we have seen strange things today was there anybody in the healing and deliverance service today that is what it can be called. We have seen strange things today. Crippled, paralyzed people, cancers of all sorts, deleted and wiped out by his power. Would you lift your voice and say after me, say, Father, Father thank, you thank you for strange, for strange and incredible, and incredible manifestations, manifestations of your power, of your power and, your and your presence in our midst. In our midst. Thank you thank for you. all we saw at the healing and, the healing and deliverance service, and service. Today. today. Be glorified, be glorified. Oh, Lord, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Go on ahead and pray. <laughs> in Jesus precious name Amen. Jeremiah chapter 1 and in verse 10 everybody read it together one to go see I have these days said thee over the nations and over the kingdoms to root out and to pull down and to destroy and to throw down and to build and, and to plan. plan. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are throwing down the devil tonight. Say after me, say Father. Father. We dismantle. We, dismantle. we demolish. demolish. We destroy. destroy. Every satanic Every planting, planting. planting. Structure. Structure. Orchestration. Orchestration. Confrontation. Confrontation. Or antagonism. antagonism. Against your acts. In our midst. In our, midst. In our lives. In our we eliminate them we completely, completely by your power. By your power. Oh, Lord. oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Go on ahead and pray. <laughs> Jesus, precious name. Amen. 
The Lord heard and answered us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Psalm 104 and in verse 4. Psalm 104. Who maketh his angel spirits, his ministers, a flaming fire. Joel chapter 2 and in verse 3. He said a fire devoured before them. Behind them a flame burned. The land is as the, as the garden of Eden before them. And behind them a desolate wilderness. Yeah. And nothing shall escape them. Lift your voice and say after me. Say, Father, Father I, step I step into this new day, this new day with, a with a mantle of fire, of fire to, devour to devour everything, everything on, my way on my way that is contrary, is contrary to your plan, to your plan and, purpose and purpose for the day. Oh Lord, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Again, Father, Father I, step I step into this new day, this new day with, a with a mantle of fire, of fire to devour, devour everything, everything on my way, on my way that is contrary, that is contrary to, your to your plan and purpose for the day. Oh Lord, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, go ahead and pray. In Jesus' precious name, the Lord had an answer us in Jesus' name. Amen. Psalm 84 and in verse 7, the Bible says they go from strength to strength. Every one of them in Zion appeared before the Lord. Lift your voice and say after me, say, Father, Father I, declare I declare this new day, this new day as, my day as my day of divine strength, divine strength progress, progress, and acceleration. And acceleration. In, Jesus in Jesus' name, I step, I step into a new dimension Jesus. in Jesus' name. Jesus. Again, Father, Father I, declare I declare this new day, this new day as, my day as my day of divine strength, divine strength progress, 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 and acceleration. And acceleration. In, Jesus in Jesus' name, I step, I step into a new dimension. Oh Lord, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, go on ahead and speak to God. In Jesus' precious name, the Lord had an answer us in Jesus' name. Amen. Psalm 89, verse 19. Psalm 89, verse 19. He said, Then thou speakest in, in vision to thy holy one. And thou sayest, I have laid help upon one that is mighty. That is not hand. I laid help. God has laid help for somebody. Amen. And that help is released tonight. Amen. Will you see after me say, Father, Father I, take full delivery I take full delivery of every help you are laying on me in this new day. Oh Lord, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, I take full delivery of every help you are laying on me in this new day. Lord, in the name of Jesus, go ahead and speak to God. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha. 
Jesus precious name. Amen. If you lay that shout the Lord say amen. amen. Isaiah chapter 55 and in verse 11, Isaiah 55, 11, so shall my word be, my word be that great forth out of my mouth, it shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. Say it loud, amen. amen. Say after me, say, Father, Father we, ask we ask that your words, that your words released, released in prayer, in prayer on, this altar, on this altar today, today will, return will return with answers, with answers and accurate, accurate results, results, O Lord, Lord in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Again, Father, Father we, ask we ask that your words, your words released, released in, prayer in prayer on this altar, on this altar today, today will return, will return with, answers with answers and accurate, accurate results, results, O Lord, 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 in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and speak to God. In Jesus precious name Amen. the Lord had an answer us in Jesus name Amen. Galatians chapter 5 and in verse 12 I'd like you to read it very very brutal want to go I, I would they will, they will even, even cut, cut off, off with trouble you that's right every unrepentant wicked troubler of your life of your destiny and of your family just like that which that was cut off after prayer the other night they shall be cut off. Amen. Lift your voice and say, Father, Father we, ask, we ask, I ask, I ask that you cut off you cut every off unrepentant, every wicked, wicked troubler, troubler of your people, of my, people, of my life, of my life as, well as well as their wickedness, as their wickedness today. today. Oh, Lord, oh Lord, in the name of in Jesus, name of Jesus. Cut, them cut them off. Open your mouth and pray. Father, we ask that you cut off every unrepentant, wicked troubler of your people as well as their wickedness today, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we can trouble. In Jesus' precious name, amen. you say name and say louder, amen. amen. Second Kings chapter one and in verse ten, the Bible says that Elijah answered and said, "The captain of the fifty, if I be a man of God, then let fire come down from heaven and consume you and your fifty. And there came down fire from heaven and consumed him and his fifty. Every every death looking for you." Tonight it shall be consumed. Amen. Shall be consumed by fire. Amen. Lift your voice and say, Father, Father I, ask I ask for the release, for the release of, the of the fire of your judgment, of your judgment on every enemy, on every enemy. Altar, altar of hatred, of hatred. Envy. Envy. envy, jealousy, jealousy. Bitterness. 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 Wickedness. wickedness, evil reports, report. report. bad, bad, bad news, and distraction. And distraction. We, ask we ask that it be set, it be set on, fire on fire with every altar, with every altar. of disease or death. O Lord, in the name of Jesus, go ahead and pray. Father, we ask for the release of the fire of your judgment on every and every altar of hatred, of anger, jealousy, bitterness, and weakness, civil repair, darkness, and destruction. We ask that it be set on fire with every altar of disease and death. Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord, in the name of Jesus. Jesus, 
precious name. Amen. Father, we give you the praise and the honor. Be thou glorified. Be thou glorified. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Say it louder, amen. amen. Shout the Lord most amen. amen. Shout amen at the top of your voice. Amen. Exodus 3, verse 7 and 8. Exodus 3. And the Lord said, I've surely seen the affliction of my people which are in Egypt. And I've heard their cry by reason of their taskmasters. For I know their sorrows. And I am come down to deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptians. And to bring them up out of that land. The children of Israel, I have seen them. I have seen their challenges. I have seen them. God is visiting Israel as a family. Amen. He's visiting you as a family. Amen. He's visiting your household. Amen. Lift your voice and say, Father, Father I, ask I ask for a total, for a total family, family visitation, visitation for, my life for my life and that of my loved ones. Today, Lord, Today, Lord in, the in the name of Jesus. Again, Father, Father I, ask I ask for a total, for a total family, family visitation, visitation for, my life, for my life and that of my loved ones. Today, Lord, Today, Lord, Lord in the name of Jesus. Go on ahead and speak. In Jesus precious name. Amen. The Lord had an answer us in Jesus' name. Amen. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 14. Habakkuk chapter 2. For the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the seas. Lift your voice and say, Father, Father we, ask we ask that you will, that you will, that you will saturate, the earth saturate the earth through this altar, through this altar with, the with the knowledge of your glory. Of your glory. O, Lord, o Lord, as the waters, as the waters cover the seas. Cover the seas. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Say again, Father, Father we, ask we ask that you will saturate, saturate the, earth the earth through this altar, through this altar with the knowledge, with the knowledge of, your glory, of your glory as the waters, the waters cover the seas. O Lord, o Lord, in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Go on ahead and pray. In Jesus' precious name, amen. the Lord heard and answered us, say amen. amen. You believe the Lord heard and answered us, shout the Lord and say amen. amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's go, celebrations. Let's go, let's go, let's go. This guy God, another one, no deal. And a shout of praise as you take your seat in the presence of the Lord. Wake your friends, your loved ones, as we proceed into reading more of the testimonies before this personal supplication. Sister H from Abuja said, Good evening, commanding 
the day midnight crew. I want to appreciate the name of the Lord for what he has done in my life and family. I joined Dunamis Commission in May 2023. I was from the other religion. I gave my life to Christ. That was the beginning of my turnaround. I worked for a woman who had not paid me for six years. But after I joined this commission, God connected me to a woman with whom in six months, I got what I couldn't get in six years. I want to return all glory to God for his intervention upon my life. Secondly, whenever I dream, I find it difficult to remember my dreams. So on the 10th of April, that was my request during personal supplication. And God's servant mentioned my case. Brethren, I slept and woke up and realized that I could remember my dream. Thank you, Jesus. And to the whole commanding the day midnight crew, God bless you all. Declaration attached. You dream, very, very detailed dream, but you wake up, you can't remember anything. That is, that is not correct. Because there are dreams you must establish if they are correct and from God. And there are dreams you must cancel if they are from hell and they are destructive. Now, if you can't, you can't remember what you dreamt, how do you establish the dream that must be established? How do you cancel the dream that must be canceled? I take authority over that spirit of dementia in the realm of the spirit, that forgetfulness of what you saw in the dream of the night. I command it arrested and returned back to hell in the name of Jesus. You will see it and it will be clear in the name of Jesus. Give the Lord a big clap of hand. If you have such a situation, it is over in Jesus' name. Amen. Blessing O from Abuja said, above only greetings, I've come to appreciate this good God for his wonders in my life and divine visitation. I was introduced to this platform by my colleague at work and I've been connecting since February. On the 13th of April, 24th, the senior pastor mentioned my case about a baby whose destiny was tempered with in his words. He said God is showing him people whose destiny were tempered with from childhood, bad people coming to visit, visit a newborn baby and tempered with the destiny of the baby beloved in Christ, this was exactly me. It is 100% accurate. All my life I've been experiencing rejection, setbacks, and so much spiritual attacks. I'm talking about real attacks. At some point, I became scared to sleep alone because the attacks were every day. So I started praying and I was wondering who I have offended that is after my life. I can't deny the fact that God has saved me from a lot including dropping out of school. I had a revelation about my auntie who came visiting my parents three days after I was born. Wow! She just came from the village with no invitation. According to my mother, they were surprised she was able to locate where my parents were staying because as of this time, there were, there were no phones. Long story made sure the Lord showed me how she took me to her marine kingdom and dedicated me to their gods as a baby. She did all this spiritually, which led me suffering in life. Growing up, I would see myself in water. I used to see a serpent on my bed. Wow. Strange things that were far from normal were happening to me. I have prayed and at some point I gave up. But God kept me going. I will be turning 27 this year and it doesn't look like it, it because I have nothing to show. My family are even tired of me, but my word came. Hey! I couldn't contain my joy. It came with accuracy. I had to record the prophecy and play it next morning. People of God, I was manifesting and then I felt something leave me. Since then, give the Lord the praise, people. I've had peace and I know God will complete what he has started in my life. Give the Lord the praise and the declaration is attached. And the Lord is showing me pictures of people that they tempered with from childhood. Bad people coming to visit a newborn baby. And then just tempered with the destiny of the baby. The baby is grown up now. There are people, as I'm speaking, you are aware of what I'm saying. You got to know later. Wow. Today I stand who is seen as seated. And it cometh to pass when the Lord commanded it not. I declare that finger of Satan set on fire hey. in the name of Jesus. The hand of the devil is broken of your life. Anything they did in your life that, from your past that is fighting your future, I declare it arrested right now in Jesus' name. Go to the next. Okay. Allow Yolumide from the United Kingdom said, good, good, good day, son, ma. This is to testify to God's faithfulness upon my life. The pinpoint precision with which God confirms his word upon this altar is amazing. 
have been held up in the UK for a couple of months as a result of a delayed visa biometric residence permit issuance. My wife's own was issued within days of applying. But for unexplained reasons, mine was held up for about three months. This delay impacted negatively on business and activities I'm involved in back home in Nigeria, as I usually shuttle. No reason was given for this delay in spite of complaints made to the authorities. My family and I decided to hand this over to God on the altar of the command of the prayers. On the 6th of April, my word came. Through God's servant that said, paraphrased, I see a passport, travel document, citizenship document, residence permit or something that is meant to have entered your hand but is being delayed. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. That declaration gave me some relief as it hit right on the spot. My children backed up the declaration with prayer and fasting. Brethren, I woke up on the morning of the 9th of April, 2023. Three days later, to a mail informing me that my application was receiving attention. I was glad. I said to my wife that the process has started. We were meant to wait for some days for the final decision to be made. I took a nap and within another hour or so, I woke up to another email that my application was successful. Three days later, I was dazed. I screamed and woke up my wife and children. That was indeed some good speed there. Amazing. I eventually got an email apologizing for the delay. This marked the end of weeks of sustained mental pressure, delay, and anxiety. I believe this will also leave the embargo on other areas of my career and businesses in Jesus' name. I've come to back to return all glory to the Lord and to appreciate what God is doing through this liberation ministry. Praise the Lord! God bless you, Sandman. Declaration attached. That's right. I see something about a passport, like an international passport, like a document, travel document. Whether you are processing a passport, maybe a, a residency, uh, um, a citizenship passport, or a travel, whatever. There is something about a passport that is meant to enter your hands that has not yet entered your hands. Whether it's citizenship process, or whether it's a missing international passport, whatever it is, I declare, receive it right now, in the name of Jesus. Now everything that is delayed in your life, I declare it released. Somebody say a louder, amen. Somebody shout the loud, no say amen. All right, let's go. Miss N.A. from Abuja. Good evening, Commander Day, Midnight Prayer family. I want to thank God for his mercy and compassion on my life through Midnight Prayers, the Midnight Prayers, and through God's servant, Dr. Pastor Paul Enich. In 2021, I was diagnosed HIV positive. And I've been on antiretroviral medications ever since. By the grace of God, my family was really supportive. But I, I felt like my life was put on a pause because I was in a perpetual state of fear, panic, and sadness 80% of the time. The other 20%, I would pray and pray till I cried myself to sleep for so many nights since 2021. Though I was not a wayward girl, but I was ignorant and living in sin. However, I decided that in order to fulfill my days on this earth, I must surrender to God. I must be conscious of his assistance. So I decided to give my life to Christ. I kept on believing God as I was in expectation every day. Beloved, on the 5th of March, the servant of God, Dr. Pastor Paul Adventure, made a declaration that someone who had been plagued with HIV positivity, that today it has been cleared out from your system. I screamed, Amen. At the top of my voice. But I never repeated the test. After that declaration. Later on. On the 9th of March. A sister testified. How she had been healed from the same virus. After the 5th of March. Commanding the day in our prayer declaration. After hearing her testimony. I was determined to repeat my own test. But due to school overload. It, it still took me a month. Before I decided to go ahead. With the test. This time. I tested with two different test kits. Because I wanted the devil to cry twice. And lo and behold, they all came out negative. Oh. I had imagined how I would scream when I got healed of this affliction. That doctor said I had no cure. But now I'm overwhelmed with so much emotions like a baby. For the very first time in a long time, I feel peace. I am in awe of how Jehovah single-handedly removed this shame 
and reproach from my life just like that. Free of charge. I can't take this healing for granted. Please, join me. Thank the Almighty God who has delivered me from such affliction and oppression. Oh, God bless you, sir and ma, for your dedication to the work of the Lord with absolute global impact. May the oil on this altar never run dry. May the Lord bless each and every member of the Command the Day Midnight Prayer Crew. In Jesus' name, amen. Pictures and declarations attached. That is a positive result in 2023. That's right there. This first one. And these are the two negative results on, the second, on two consecutive days, 14th and 15th. HIV 1 and 2 on this one, negative. HIV 1 and 2 on this one, negative. And that was a positivity result. Can we give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise? Can we give the Lord a bigger, bigger clap and a louder shout of praise? Is somebody just sitting and looking like that? Now, look at, look at, look at the declaration. Let's look at the declaration first. The Lord said clearly to me, someone that had been plagued with HIV positivity, today it is cleared from your system. You've been praying and praying and trusting God and praying and trusting God. It has prevented you from stepping into many things boldly. Today, I declare that shame is clear. That shame is clear. Can you stand up and let's celebrate the King of Kings? Celebrate. Go, 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 go. go. You are worthy to be praised, to be honored. HIV positive becoming negative is a very big deal. It's a very, very big deal. Very big deal. In those days, it was death sentence on the spot. Except that there's antiretroviral drug, which people have to be on for the rest of their lives. It's a major big deal. Marriage is a challenge. So I'd like you to dance to this like you will dance when God does the unexpected for you. The impossible. Take that song one more minute. Let's go. You are worthy to be praised, to be honored and adored. Oh, Lord, you are worthy to be praised. Everybody sing it. You are worthy, 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 worthy to be praised, to be honored and adored. Have a shout of praise. Take your seat. I'm sure we have some video clips before we go into personal supplications. Let's go into the video clips. Above all is in my place. I come to testify. Since I joined the commanding the day mirror night prayer with a dunamis gospel. Last night I had a I was healed of my private part uh, affliction and my wife. Uh, Sonia Kadima has been healed from a fibroid because she, has, she used to have a big stomach. And she also was healed from a constant coughing and running nose. And we are counting on God to give us USA visa immigration because she was denied twice. We have uh, so many blessings and God visitation since we have joined the commanding the day 
middle night prayer from uh, February 5th until now. And we thank God for using Pastor Dr. Paul and Becky Nishi as our blessing. And we thank every crew from the commanding the day middle night prayer. Thank you and God bless you because we have uh, so many blessings. We used to face a limitation, delay, near success syndrome, witchcraft attack, manipulation, this one and that one, but we no longer face those things. Hey! We thank God for Dunami's Gospel International. Thank you very much. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, amen. I enjoy it when we hear people from different kinds of the world speaking different accents. Go ahead, go ahead. Good morning, everyone. My name is Anya Gugachku Daniel, and I'm sending this from Abba. So I want to use this avenue to thank this God, the God of this great commission, who has been the force behind all the testimonies that we've been hearing from this altar. You know, I want to thank this God for all he has done in my life. Before, I'm not that kind of a person that really prays at night, but midnight stuff, anything midnight is not really for me. <laughs> but since 18th of March, my sister introduced me to this, telling me all sorts of testimonies that God has given to people and she herself. So I decided to give it a trial. And since then, I can tell you that I have always loved every bit of it. It has always worked every time we spent in the presence of God. And then I want to thank God for reviving my prayer life, not just midnight prayer life, but every other hour. God has revived my prayer life through this altar. And again, I want to thank God for breaking the yoke of cobwebs in my life. This is what has delayed me, stagnated a whole lot of things for me. I've gone to churches, praying, but it's always there. Even the cobwebs is so much that in the day, in the afternoon, in the morning, everywhere, even in the night, you know, even when I travel out of this country, everywhere I go, the cobwebs is there, and it has been hindering me Terrible from achieving problems. a lot of things that I ought to have achieved. And I thank this God since I started these midnight prayers, and Pastor is constantly mentioning it, and then God has really done it for me. And I'm free from it, and I know that as I'm free from it, as this yoke has been broken, God is about to liberate me and give me my mega testimonies. And I'm coming back with those mega testimonies. Thank you to the man of God and his beautiful wife. Thank you to every midnight, commanding the day midnight crew member. Thank you to all of you that is making your time, making our time to pray alongside. I know that this God who has brought this medium to liberate us will continue giving us amazing testimonies in Jesus' name. Give the Lord a prayer for the Chukudani. It's truly a place. I'm called Sonita from Cameroon. I really thank God for the command of the day midnight prayer. My testimony is specifically <clears throat> from the command of the day midnight prayer on April 11, 2024, when the pastor said, you only saw clearly and heard clearly, and all of a sudden it disappeared. You can hear nothing, I take authority over that satanic agenda. It's arrested right now in the name of Jesus. I shouted, Amen. It has been long for now. I always have dreams. I always see things clearly. But out of a sudden, everything stopped. But when the word came of the man of God, that same night, he said, He said, starting from this night, I will hear your testimony, virgin. I slept after the command of the day midnight prayer. I had a powerful dream, a dream of another level. I just want to thank all the command of the day midnight crew. God bless you all, sir and ma. My name is Aku. I'm testifying from Togo. I joined wow. the midnight prayer team on the 2nd April 2024. Uh, my testimony comes in three folds. So on the 3rd, April, Pastor Paul declared that there is somebody that has a tongue pain and it's like also on your tongue, you are delivered right now. So I quickly receive it for my mom. And the next day she was healed. 
Wow. Like everything went. And then on the 6th to on the 6th of April, 2024, Papa declared again that there is somebody that was feeling the pain under his uh, her ankle, sorry, and you are delivered now. So my mom again, she was feeling that pain for a while, and then I received it for her. And the next day, she was delivered. So this morning, on the 14th April 2024, I was listening to Papa preaching and I fell asleep. I don't know what happened. So back, I used to dream that I'm naked in my dream. All the time I would dream that I'm naked. And then this time around, while the prayer was going on, I fell asleep. I saw Papa preaching in my room. The church was like, the church was in my room. And he took my Bible and he began to pray over the Bible. After praying, he gave me the Bible. After I took the Bible, then I started crying crying then I saw myself naked again and I, I ran to wear my dress and he and I came back when I came back he gave my brother some stickers to give me to paste on my everything that I use the fact that I was able to wear my dress back in the dream it tells me that God has delivered me through uh, uh, Papa I just want to thank God for this deliverance and this miracle. I want to thank Papa. I want to thank the mommy too and the prayer team. May the oil on your head never run dry. Thank you so much. Above all, uh, that is my place. Above all. Thank you. <laughs> Give the Lord a big clap and a louder shout of praise. Every spirit of reproach and nakedness and shame is arrested in Jesus' name. Are we done? All right. Give the Lord a praise, people. Let's stand on your feet one minute. Lift your hands and let's appreciate him. I appreciate him. We're not, going, we're, we're not going full blast into praise, but just wave your hands and give him the praise. Give him the honor. Give him the adoration. Give him the worship. Father, we thank you. Father, we honor you. Father, we adore you. Be thou glorified in Jesus' precious name. Say it loud, amen. Let's go before the Lord right now and present your personal supplications. In 30 seconds, you let God know how much you appreciate him. In another 60 seconds, you let him know what is on your mind. In the name of Jesus. Lift your hands, everyone, and just give him the praise.
Lift up your hands everywhere you are. I pray right now in the name that is above every name. The name Jesus of Nazareth. I declare total restoration for families. Dr. Mr. Leche can come again for this one. As at yesterday we asked that God should give you an anniversary gift. Give us an anniversary gift in your life. That our gift from him should be what you desire. Every single that has a spell, anti-marital spell that is plaguing your life, you are yet to be established. I declare that spell is broken right now in the name of Jesus. Those that are married, battling with the issue of fruit of the womb, I declare that issue is arrested. Those that are married with pressure of divorce, pressure of separation, I declare that pressure is over in the name of Jesus. I declare right now every wayward child, concerned child of every, any family, I declare the concern is over. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Marital embargoes are lifted. Fruitfulness embargoes are lifted. Financial embargoes are lifted. Career destiny embargoes are lifted. Attack on sick, on, of sickness is over. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. We declare the blessing of God upon your life in the name of Jesus. We declare today that families are hereby declared blessed in the name of Jesus. We declare today every infighting and bitterness and anger and competitive jealousies running in families is hereby arrested in the name of Jesus. We declare peace in families in the name of Jesus. Peace among siblings, peace among parents, peace among the extended families in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we ask. That greatness that is embedded in every family is what will manifest and the limitations, the causes, the backwardness, the stagnations of any generational line is hereby cancelled in the name of Jesus. We declare those trusting God to be married. Today, your marital destiny is hereby opened up in the name of Jesus. Those trusting God for children, we declare today your fruitfulness is established in the name of Jesus. We declare you are blessed in Jesus' name. So shall it be. Whatever you see in our lives for these 30 years or family or assignment or ministry, that is a desire in your life. Receive as a gift from Amen. God. Receive your visitation. Amen. So shall it be. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Somebody with a frontal headache on the left, right hand side, that is more like afflicting the eye all the way from here, all the way back. I declare it retrieved and refired back to hell. In the name of Jesus. I heard a name like Booking, whether it's the name of a place or the name of a person, Booking. Lekoparata Zinatoka. The pursuit of the enemy on your life is hereby arrested. There's a pressure. There's a pressure. I see you running and breath, breathless, trying to catch the breath. In the name of Jesus, I declare that agenda of hell arrested. Every respiratory disease also arrested. Every airway disease arrested. In the name of Jesus. I see someone having something to do with mathematics. Looks like there's a struggle. Whether it's a child or a secondary school person. Or even a mature person that is trying to solve or deal with a certain mathematical thing. In the line of logarithm. I take authority over that agenda. Over that, over that, that difficulty. I declare it is dissolved. Right now in the name of Jesus. The Lord is sending me to rebuke the spirit of depression combined with anxiety, neurosis, anxiety, anxious about tomorrow, anxious about the future, anxious about everything combined with fears, 
that is also combined with tears just as frequently as it is possible that you're just making you like a bag of nerves i take authority over this spirit of depression and over this spirit of anxiety neurosis and fears and tears tonight i declare it arrested in the name of jesus receive your freedom in the name of jesus a battle with halitosis I don't know if it's someone else or the same person and maybe that's the cause of the depression. I declare today that that, that that mouth situation order is over right now in the name of Jesus. Someone who received the threat of death called you or sent you a text message physically threatening you with death. I declare the person under 24 hours will come under pressure and visitation from heaven to call and or text and apologize in the name of Jesus and every arrow of death they are sending to you is retrieved and refired back to hell in the name of Jesus there is something that there is someone that has this you, you smell death around you see the kind of smell the smell when you go around the mortuary you smell that kind of smell around your life it's a it's a demon of death active death i take authority over that demon of death i arrest that demon of death i command you return back to the to hell where you came from tonight is the end of that smell in the name of jesus the Lord is setting folks free from a spirit spouse. First spirit wife that makes your life miserable. Have you ever seen a spiritual wife rape a man? That's the kind of thing that happens in the dream of the person I'm talking about. But others with spirit spouse attack. Spiritual wife that messes up your day. There is someone you don't even see anybody. But you just wake up seeing that everything is messed up. And this happens before major en en engagements and everything is foiled. And spirit wife attack. I arrest this devil and spirit husband attack. I arrest this devil. His agenda is arrested forever and return back to hell in Jesus' precious name. Somebody with an arrow on the chest looked like charm or something poison that was put in the food and he got hooked in the chest here i take authority over that death spell in that chest Lika, there are a couple of people in this category but there's an immoral in this category i take authority over that charm that poison in the chest i retrieve it i refire it back to hell somebody shout the ladder say amen i see one name that's affecting four different people so is the name is the same with situations that are different the first person with the same name is battling with anti-marital spell with spirit husband oppression Antonia is that, is that particular name Anybody who is battling also with that spirit anti-marital spell with the spirit husband affliction that comes to mess up your relationships in the name of Jesus. That yoke is broken in the name of Jesus. It is broken. The power of God is coming on you where you are now. Get out in the name of Jesus. The same one is marriage. The same name. Fruit of the womb battle. For upward of seven years, I take authority. Let the feet of Kokola Ganashta, let Peretesina over this fruit of the womb battle. I declare that fruit of the womb battle is arrested in the name of Jesus. The same name with a child that is more like an imbecile, mentally retarded, not behaving his age. One name. I take authority over that mental retardation in the name of Jesus. I declare the yoke is broken in the name of Jesus. I command that that child returns back to his senses. In Jesus' name. This one, the fourth one, the same Anthony, another one. This, are, this is a name that is common to four different people having these different challenges. 
The other one has a husband with a spell of aimlessness, the spell of uselessness, the spell of drunkenness. The spell of money comes and is just squandered. I take authority. And now, even if your name was not that name, but the case that is being mentioned applies to you. Receive your testimony right now. I declare the spell is broken from that man in the name of Jesus. I declare that he returns back to his senses in the name of Jesus. What the enemy took from you, I declare them restored. Tomorrow night shall be the night of total restoration. Stretch your two hands in front of you. I prophesy upon you today. I declare your harvest will look for you. From the north, the south, the east and the west. In Jesus' precious name. And right now, systems are put under pressure. Lose their peace and sleep and rest until what is yours enters your hands. I declare it done. That's right. With this HIV testimony, someone is saying, Lord, remember me. Yes, your, the HIV in your blood is cleaned out now. Hepatitis A, hepatitis B, hepatitis C in your blood is cleaned out now. Oh, now your hemoglobin genotype SS is cleaned out and turned into AA now. The Bible said the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. The meaning is one person's testimony is everybody's prophecy. Whatever needs to be cleaned out in your blood is cleaned out right now. In Jesus' precious name. Before we give our offerings, anywhere you are watching, in need of surrender to Jesus, place your hand on your chest and pray after me and say, Lord Jesus, I'm a sinner in need of your help. Come into my life and make me a new person. Today I have decided to follow you, Lord. No turning back. Forward ever, backward never. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Take your seat in the presence of the Lord. Let us know that you pray that prayer. While you prepare your offerings, we have a three-minute clip of our 30th anniversary clips of global impact here and there. This clip is a clip that you put on your DP. This is a clip that you will share with friends. This is a clip that you will forward on WhatsApp and saturate the air with the mighty move of God in our lives around the earth. Can you go ahead and play the clips if you have it?
the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise. There are one or two things to correct out of that, but the clip will be ready shortly and we shall make them available. Stand up on your feet and let's give the Lord the praise. Give the Lord the praise. Father, we give you the praise. Father, we give you the honor. Father, we give you the adoration. Thank you, Master, in Jesus' precious name. Stretch your two hands. The Lord, the Lord bless your hand. Multiply your harvest. Cause his face to shine upon you. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. 2024. And above only. Where is your place? And above only. God bless you. See you in the midweek service. And God bless you. Hallelujah.